Hi, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and I welcome you to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a very special project that I have made using products from Renea Bouquet's Tonic Studios dies and a file from Silhouette Studio. I have made these projects for the Loaded Envelope Galore and More group as I am participating in a swap. I'm going to show you the products that I've used to make some of these items. To begin, I'm going to start with this adorable little camera that you see in the frame. So I'm going to remove everything else so that you can see what I've used on that. So let's take a closer look at this adorable little camera. This was made with a file from Silhouette Studio. And what I did was that I used laces and gears as well as some flowers from Renee Bouquet's and some beautiful board to finish it off. The paper is also from Renéo Bouquet's shop and this is from Blue Fern Studio. It's called A Romantic Life and that's what I've used on all of the projects today. So I will be linking down below this video all of the items that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. It is a little difficult for me to remember all of the names so I will do my best but I'm going to begin here. This word fearless is so beautiful. It's a really nice font. And this is made of beautiful board, as well as the little feather that you see here on the side and those little gears that I added on the top of this camera. I use those elements just to give this a bit more personality, if you will. And I also topped it off with these gorgeous mulberry flowers from Renee Bouquet's shop and these flowers up here as well. Those itty bitty ones are also from her shop as well as that tiny little butterfly and this little flower that you see there and down here also are little flowers that I snipped away from one of the laces from Renee Bouquet's shop. This beautiful lace that you see back here with the gorgeous heart motifs is called Bridesmaid Lace. And I just think that that is absolutely gorgeous. I also have snipped away some of the other pieces and that is how I managed to strategically place those tiny little flowers there. And I did add the little gems in the center. I created the flowers that you see in white out of vellum. The lens portion here of that camera I also made by altering some vellum that I had in my stash. The rest of it is just, as you can see, different elements there. And then, of course, the little handle of the camera I just made by adding these little pearls here. So I just thought that that was really sweet. And I also topped it off with little Nouveau drops there and some little pearls from my stash. The requirements of the swap were not only to make the camera, but also a little photo book that you could place inside. However, this file turned out to be on the small side. And what I did was that I created a little booklet to house the little album, if you will, that would go otherwise inside of the camera. And here what I did was that I topped this off with this gorgeous little fairy from Renée Bouquet's. She is a printed board piece. And this little frame that you see here, what I did was that I colored it with different markers just to emulate the same colors as this gorgeous paper collection. And then I backed it up with another piece of vellum that I did alter by using mixed media. And here is another piece of that lace. It was left over and I just decided to use it there as a place to sit the little fairy. And I thought that that was really, just really darling. I've closed this with a piece of seam binding that I colored using ink. I also colored the little pieces here that I added as little tails, if you will, there. And then if you open this little booklet, you see that inside is the other little book that we were to include with the camera. What I did here was that I just altered this. I made a little pocket with Tonic Studios dies. I decorated the little book that goes inside using another little tiny printed beautiful board piece that is a fairy from Renee Bouquet's shop. And then I used the daisy chain lace that I did snip away to make a little bed of flowers for her. And here is a little rose. This is a beautiful board piece also from her store. 
And then everything else was just pieces of paper that I die cut and vellum that I also made flowers out of. And I added this little heart here that was given to me. Another little piece of lace here that was given to me. I added as a trim here at the bottom. And then the little booklet just opens up like so. What I did was that I did add little frames to it. That way the person could add either pictures or journaling to each side and I will also be including inside of the booklet a little template for the person to be able to cut out the pictures to match the frames. Another item that we were to make for the swap was a Polaroid style shaker card. What I did for mine was that I made two of them and I topped off my card and I've also made little flowers that I topped off with pieces of the garden bouquet lace. What I did was that I snipped off the little flowers and then just added them as centers here. I've also made flowers that I topped off with little vellum flowers and pearls from my stash. And on this one here, I added little micro beads from her store. I've also finished it off with these gorgeous little roses that are beautiful board pieces. All of the other elements that you see here, I cut out using dies from my stash, including the Tonic Studios die that makes this film strip here. And then I did back that up with vellum that I altered and I topped it all off with little Nouveau drops to give it some shine. It's very shabby, of course. And here you also see a piece of that vellum peeking out of the background there. And it's all very subtle, but all of the colors combine with each other. And I topped off this film strip also with a tiny little butterfly from Renea Bouquets. Now to show you this piece de resistance, this cantilever box that I've made using items from Renea Bouquets. I was super excited to finish this off. And I've used the Garden Party Tea Rose Lace. Venice Rose Lace and Garden Bouquet Lace on this as well as the Daisy Chain Lace. So let me point those out. On the top here I've used the Garden Party Tea Rose Lace and it th does have some really large flowers on there. I've also of course snipped away different pieces and here you can see the Venice Rose Lace. It has these groupings of little flowers that are just so sweet. It also has the little gems on it and here I've topped one piece off with a double-sided butterfly from Renea Bouquets. The little skeleton leaf is also from her shop. And then on this side, you can see this butterfly. This is actually a butterfly lace that you can get from her shop. I just cut one piece off and placed strategically on that side of the box. Here you see more of that beautiful board that I've colored and topped off with sequins and gems. And this is on top of that daisy chain lace that I've added on the bottom there. Then on the side, you can see the garden bouquet lace that I just trimmed down and I used three of the flowers here with, of course, the border. I also topped it off with little pieces from the daisy chain lace there. But I've also topped it off with a rose and a daisy beautiful board piece from her store that I added a gem to there. The other flowers are handmade. I did make those with Tonic Studios dies and this one here I made out of Fomiron. I just altered that to match this project. This of course opens up. It's got a nice little tie here that I made with seam binding and the recipient will be able to open this box and it'll have compartments here with little goodies. I've not yet finished it, so once it's complete, I'll be able to share it again in a different video. But I did want to show how you can use the different items from Renee Bouquets to make these items absolutely beautiful. And this concludes my video. I hope that you have enjoyed what you have seen here. Of course, I welcome any comments and feedback if you like what you've seen. I encourage you to use the links that I will provide in the description box of this video so that you can pick up items that you can also use for your projects. As always, I hope that you can be encouraged and be blessed and I thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.